Okay, let's head into 1924 West 63rd Street. The overall square footage of this uh, house is actually quite large. Um, however, several of the rooms are, are, are fairly small, so it looks like there's probably been some addition onto it. But the one, one of the really nice things about it is it's a true four bedroom, two bath property. So off this living area here, which has this uh, vinyl flooring on it, uh, we'll go to our three main bedrooms and probably the initial uh, bedrooms in the house. And so you'll see the size of these. These are all fairly small, 10 by 10, 12 by 12 ish um, carpet in the bedrooms. But everything looks pretty good. I, I think the foundation is probably solid. There's a little bit of squishiness here and there. It feels like it's more subflooring than structural. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're coming through and looking to do the flooring, redo the flooring. Uh, carpet in this bathroom or bedroom as well. Our first bathroom that these three bedrooms share is a pretty standard three piece. Could use some resurfacing, probably a little bit of a reno in here, but not, um, not mandatory, just depending on what you're wanting to do with the property. And then our third bedroom here. Um, again, I think this is where the original house would have ended. Um, again, also a pretty small uh, little space here. This closet here, this is what's something that's kind of interesting. Um, so this closet feels like it was an addition because there is a closet space for here. So if you demo this closet out, this makes this a much larger room. What I think the owners did is this space here was a master suite. This is the fourth bedroom. And they used this as a closet, dressing room, etc. cetera. Um, it does connect. So it does count as a bedroom, even though they're connected because you can get to each of them independently, right? What I would probably do is tear out that closet there, make this a closet for this bedroom, and then wall this off. So now you have your three bedrooms on the main house, original the way that they were connected with that bathroom there and a living space up at the front. Then on the back side of the house, where this addition is, is your master suite. Um, it's a much larger room. It does have radiant heat um, instead of the central heat. Um, or maybe it's in addition to, because there is a supply vent here. We've got a closet, it's not the greatest size closet, but then we have our uh, full bath in here. Um, it's a good size space, but it's kind of weird the layout of it because of how close the shower and toilet are to each other, but in general, not too bad. So again, a really nice space here. I think this is uh, where a lot of the value comes in. Uh, creating this to be a kind of a, a, a master suite and everything. Now off of this space here is our kitchen, um, laundry, mechanicals, and then an additional living space uh, back here. So let me connect everything together here so you can see where we are. We came in the front of the house here. So when we came in, we went down that hallway to the bedrooms. Instead of that, going through here is where you could get to your kitchen. So again, idea certainly to maximize um, uh, resale on this one would be to take out this wall here, make this one large space into the kitchen that even flowed all the way through into this extra living space in here. I think it would be a really great idea. You could reconfigure all of the kitchen in here. In fact, you could probably somehow better utilize possibly some of the space in here. Although this probably here is the vent stack. Um, uh, looks very, you know, looks structural in there. So might not be able to incorporate any of this space. But anyway, opening this up certainly is a huge bonus for y'all that are looking to flip this or even do a buy and hold and flip it down the line. Uh, opening this up would be a really huge benefit and really increase the value of the property. Um, our mechanicals are in good shape. Um, they look like they've been well maintained. They're definitely older. Um, so you could, you know, probably if you're going to put the money into it for a rehab, maybe these get repositioned, et cetera. Maybe not. Uh, it's just a, 
It's a lot of space in here taken up by, by these things here. So, um, and then again, this extra living space here is really, really nice. This is part of the addition, right? The bedroom over there is an addition. This is an addition. Um, we've got a wall unit uh, for um, AC. So this is probably not all connected in together. Uh, give you a little bit of extra cooling in here. Then we have our nice enclosed uh, patio. Again, external of the house, right? But this is a nice little uh, area here. Ceilings are a tad bit low, um, but it's still a nice little area, certainly to be able to enjoy um, in the spring, summer, and fall. Um, so not too bad. So take a look at the uh, numbers on this one and let us know what you think. Thanks.